Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cute honeybee french macarons. I filled mine with a cream cheese frosting and peach cobbler filling. I'll have all the recipes and measurements and instructions in the description box below because I suck at explaining things. So let's get started. To start with, I made a template for the honey macaron. So I went on Google and I searched up honey and bubble letters and I just traced that onto a piece of paper. And then I have a piece of parchment paper to go on top of that to pipe our macarons onto. And then I took a round object and I traced it onto a piece of paper to get perfect circles. And then I measured out a piece of parchment paper that fits perfectly on top of that to pipe our macarons onto. Now we need two piping bags. The first one needs a large round tip and I placed that into an 18 inch piping bag and placed it in a cup to make it easier to put the batter into later. The second piping bag has a super tiny round tip. You don't have to use it, but I feel like it makes it easier to write with. So I use the tip. Now I'm making up my French macaron recipe. Measured out my almond flour and powdered sugar and then I blended that in a food processor for two minutes. This is just to get rid of any lumps. And then I sifted that mixture and I'm gonna set it aside. Now I'm measuring out my egg whites and my granulated sugar. And I have a pot over low heat that's just simmering and I'm gonna place my egg whites on top of that. The bowl should not be touching the water. And I'm placing my sugar into the egg whites and I'm gonna whisk that mixture over the pot of water and you know when it's ready when you take the mixture in between your fingers and you shouldn't feel any sugar it should be completely smooth now right after i'm going to place that into my mixing bowl and whip it until we get stiff peaks starting at low speed then medium and then high speed you know when it's ready when you can flip the bowl upside down and nothing falls out now we're going to take that almond flour and powdered sugar mixture and fold it into the egg whites just going around the bowl and underneath and then once everything's just combined you don't want to take it to the macaronage stage you're going to take a scoop out and place it into a separate bowl and add some black food coloring to the small bowl and then yellow to the big one now you're going to finish mixing your batter until it comes to the perfect consistency if you want a tutorial on just the basic macaron just so you know the consistencies and all that let me know in the comments down below and i'll post that do the same thing for your black and then you're going to add the black into the piping bag with the tiny tip and then the yellow goes into the bag with the large tip now i'm going to pipe yellow circles onto the parchment paper using the template i made i'll have all the details in the description box in case i didn't explain it good enough I just took, I think it was the top to a seasoning, like paprika, and then I just trace circles to make perfect circles. Just like that, and I'm going to lightly bang the tray now, just to get rid of any air bubbles and smooth everything out. And then you can see I'm taking the template from underneath, and I'm going to set those macarons aside to dry for 40 minutes. Now we're gonna work on the honey part. I'm basically just writing the word honey using cookie batter. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the black in the small piping bag and trace around that. And I'm gonna do that again to make another cookie. I'm gonna bang the tray just to smooth everything out and give it any air bubbles. Remove the template and then again set these aside to dry for about 40 minutes. Now, when you make macarons, you need two cookies to make one full cookie. So when you do letters or any writing, you need to do writing facing the right way. And then you need to do another cookie backwards. So I just flipped the template around and I wrote the word honey backwards. And this is going to become a pair with cookies we just did in the last clip do the same exact thing tap them to get rid of any air bubbles and then set them aside to dry now these are the circles that we made this is after about 40 minutes and they're completely dry when i touch the top no batter comes off of my finger now i'm just using the black to make two little eyes 
for our honeybee faces. And then I'm gonna set those aside for about another 20 minutes. And now we're gonna make the butt. So in case I didn't explain it correctly, I just took a circular object and I traced around it to make perfect circles like you see here. And I placed a piece of parchment paper on top. Now we're just gonna do the same yellow circles. And then I'm taking that black again just to make little stripes for the honeybee. And then I also did little triangles at the bottom for the stinger. And I'm gonna set these aside to dry again. Now for the antenna, it's just very simple. I took the black again and I made like a V shape. So I did like a little blob at the beginning and then it went down, did another blob and went downwards. Let those dry and then we're gonna bake all of our cookies in the oven at about 345 for about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is them when they're completely cooled down after baking. And now because we use the template, they should all be kind of exactly the same size. But you're just going to take macarons that are the most similar in size and put them together. And do that with everything, their little butts, their faces, and the word honey. Now to draw on the faces, I'm using a cookie marker in black and i'm just doing little eyebrows and a smile you can do any facial expressions you want i did a couple of variations um i did a big smile a small smile a smile to the side you can just do whatever you want and i have some pink luster dust you can use red um i like pink but you can use red if you want this is just to add a little rosiness to the cheeks And you see I'm just doing a little bit of a different smile here. It's kind of to the side. They're so cute. And they're really easy. They're really easy. Now for the word honey, I took some more of that pink luster dust. And I'm just adding it to the crevices, the creases, the edges. Just to kind of give it a blushed look. You don't have to do this, but I think it makes it look a little bit more cute. And this is how they look. Now to fill, I'm just using my cream cheese frosting recipe to kind of trace the outside again. If you want the recipe to this, just let me know and I'll have it up ASAP. And to fill it, I'm using a peach cobbler filling. It's my grandma's recipe, so I can't give you guys that recipe. It's going to the grave of me, but you can fill it with any fruit that you want. You can fill it with jelly or jam. And then I'm placing the other half on top and just do and lightly press down very lightly and just do this to the rest of your cookies. And then for the antennas, just stick them into the frosting with the faces. And that is how you make honeybee macarons. This isn't hard at all. You just have to understand the basic macaron recipe and process so if you guys want me to do a video on just the basics let me know and i'll have that up asap and this is the finished product they came out so cute um thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe to let me know that you are enjoying the videos and i'll see you in my next one i am excited for the next one that's coming up so stay tuned for that one and i'll see you in my next one